Hello and welcome everyone to my new video. So in this video I will show you how you can use patch shaders on Minecraft Bedrock Edition on your Windows PC or laptop. Yes, you can use any patch shader on your Windows 10 or 11 computer in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So, there is no patch modded version for Windows computer like the Android patch version. So in order to use patch shader, we have to modify some game files from the original Bedrock Edition by some modding tools, which is available for free. So this video will be a little hard to understand, but once you understand the whole video, it would be very easy for you to use the shaders. So watch this video carefully till the end and follow every step showed in the video. The first thing we need is the original Minecraft Bedrock Edition from Microsoft Store. If you don't know how to get it for free, then you can watch this video in the i button, or you will find the video link in description. After that, you have to open the description link. In this page, click on this code button and download this zip file. After that, open a new tab and search for Iabit Unlocker. And download this tool from this official site. Now open the folder where you have downloaded all the tools. And firstly, install Iabit Unlocker on your PC. Close this window and extract the magic file here. Open the folder and run the magic.bat file. Just click any button on your keyboard here. Now here you can read the terms of use of this tool here or confirm it blindly. Just press Y on your keyboard to continue. Now again you can read this whole text if you want, after that type understood and press enter button. Now here this tool will ask for a little exam with some question, and you have to answer all the question correctly in order to use this tool. But don't worry, I will solve all the question for you. So, for this question, answer no by pressing N on your keyboard. For this question, answer the last option by pressing 4 on your keyboard. For this question, answer yes by pressing Y on your keyboard. And lastly, answer this question by pressing 2 on your keyboard. Now you are ready to use this tool, now click on any button on keyboard to continue. Now you can enable this optional features for this tool, press Y for yes and N for no now. Now it asks for permission to back up your default materials files, press Y to continue and permit the admin permission. Now to install a shader, first press 1 on your keyboard. Now in this folder, you have to copy and paste the shader you want to install. And importantly, you can only install merged or Windows patch shaders with it. And to get patch shaders for Windows computer, check the deception where I have provided these bunch of shaders which will work 100% on any computer. After copy pasting, open Magic and press any key to continue. Press Y on your keyboard here. Just choose a number and press it here, for example just press 1 on your keyboard and then hit enter. Press Y on your keyboard, and then it will ask for admin permission twice, you have allow it each time. And lastly, press Y here again, and it will launch and import the shader to Minecraft. After the shader is imported, just create or choose an existing world and go to settings and enable the shader in resources pack. And now you can see the shader is working just fine wine. In case, if you want to use another shader, first you have to remove the current shader from the game. And like Android, you cannot remove the shader just by deactivating the shader in settings. To remove the shader, open Magic again. 
press R on your keyboard here. Press 1 on your keyboard. And again press 1 on your keyboard here. Press Y on your keyboard and it will ask for admin permission twice and you have to permit it both time. And that's it. It's a bit hard work because there is no patch version for Windows like Android. So to use patch shaders on Windows computers, this is the only way. And if you still don't understand anything from this video, rewatch the video a few times and try doing it while watching the video from another device. And you will get used to it after some attempts. So that was all for today's video. If the video was really helpful to you then please like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more upcoming gaming videos. See you guys in the next one.